I am beyond grateful and so excited to partner up with Benjamin Moore today to show you guys the power of paint. Now, this is my outdoor bar, and for those of you that haven't watched the tour, I will link it for you. But something that I really love about my property is the fact that it has this like desert charm. My goal throughout the whole property is to keep it OG, but add a little spice, if you will. Miss Calibella, come hither. Mamacita, come here. Thank you, ma'am. So something that inspired me to switch up the colors and go a little bit more on the brown side is actually, this is actually for a dartboard, which I will restore, but these browns are what I'm trying to pull from now. So I'm excited about that. Where I'm gonna be pulling those reds versus the paint are gonna be through the rust that you'll find throughout hardware or different DIYs he did that I am keeping. Callie, come here, dude. You like, there's snakes and things. What are you doing, just sunbathing right there? Cutie girl. Hey. To save my sanity and my back since I'm in no rush, I will be focusing on the back of the structure another episode when I'm doing outdoor dining. And right now we are just simply focusing on the front. How can we make it look the best? And I really couldn't have done this. I have to say this is one of the most exhausting two weeks I've ever had physically without, of course, my ride or die, my ride or DIY, Miss Woodbrain. If you ask any of my closest wild women, you will know that I really want to bring a little bit of Tulum to my property. I just love the vibes. I've never Ever been and I just I genuinely always get so happy and relaxed so that's why I am taking down this roof I don't need this to be like a full covered roof I'm not gonna be running underneath it if there is rain in the desert so I am going to be doing a different option for a quote-unquote shade option but not necessarily like a structured roof to uh, avoid some water downfall I hope that made sense Cheers. Yes. Cheers, Steve. A little bit of a correction right there. Uh, that is an overhang, not a roof. What is Lindsay standing on? That's a roof. So just a little bit of a side note. Anyways, moving forward, I digress. We are going to be demoing off this old plywood. I also, you can see the shingles, how they have disappeared. Well, fun fact, when I bought the house, they were all there. The wind came and tore this sucker through. So as I was taking note of this after being weathered for years, I was trying to come up with a really cool solution as a substitution for this overhang situation. Look at us go. That's one way to get it down. That's one way. There she goes. There she goes. Look at a wild wood brain. I went ahead and removed the door and the bench because I'm actually not going to be repainting those. I will be sanding those down to keep that natural wood accent throughout this makeover. Help! You okay? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. That was dramatic. Trauma. Trauma from your mama. After I was done making a mess or anything that was kicking anything up that way get stuck in the paint, like even considering the fact that there was wind for days on end and it pushed this project so far, I'd wait till everything settled to start to dive into just the priming phase. Now I am only priming the red because that is what's gonna pull through the most. I am painting you that beige situation that you see. It's an updated color of it. So I'm not too concerned with priming that and wasting time, paint, materials, and money on that color. But yes, everything that is darker, anything that will pull through or even stains you want to make sure to prime that first to give you guys a better idea i decided to move the cowboy pool that mr ben Ueda gave to me so you can kind of start to see when the jacuzzi goes here how much fun this little area is going to be so it is fully trimmed now. It took about four hours to do by hand in the Atrium White by Benjamin Moore. And we're gonna move on to the main walls and lighten it up because I, as much as I wanna see the structure, you kinda of also want it to blend in with its surroundings out here in the desert. I know I've been mentioning paint throughout this entire episode and that is the whole basis of it, but I did wanna pull out for a second and start to talk to you about how you can pick up Benjamin Moore paint and get that sent directly to your home. If I'm gonna be keeping it real with you guys, I've always just settled for like the most cheap and basic paint for any kind of DIY, but now making over my home, I am not skimping on quality and that is something that you shouldn't be skimping on either. Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 unmatchable colors, more than any other paint company, and all available to quote-unquote try on via their app. 
I have linked it down below for you, but you can head over to their site and actually pick paint samples and get it shipped directly to your home, which hello, is super convenient. And once you know what color you want, you can place your order online and pick it up locally on the same day. I noticed the quality and how it is really worth every cent when I realized how much I over ordered because my previous experience with lesser quality paint, like I needed more paint to cover a room where with Benjamin Moore, I can use one can and cover an entire room no problem before I had to buy like three. There is very little splatter. You can see I really didn't prep this exterior structure, but there is not that much kickback, which is nice. It goes on super smooth and the coverage is the best that I've ever used. And something else I noticed was just how rich the color was. For all my exterior projects moving forward, I will be using Benjamin Moore's Regal Select Exterior Paint in a flat sheen, and I've linked all the colors down below, but if I'm being 100% honest with you, I got the inspiration directly off their website. You can even download a PDF that gives you inspiration for different projects. If you guys are interested in getting some Benjamin Moore paint and testing it out, I highly recommend it. I have linked it down below for you, along with all the other information with this project and their paint as well. Okay, enough about me gushing. Let's get back into the episode and see how crazy of a transformation that the power of paint can really do. I sanded these down off camera because my hands are dead and I did not look happy because I wasn't, so I didn't want you guys to see. Sad sanding, Rachel. I have shorts on. They're exercise shorts and they're very short, so sorry. Oh, this is gonna look so much better. So adding paint is incredible for the structure, but for doors, I wanted to take it away because look at the wood underneath this and how cute the contrast is gonna be. I mean, come on, so much better, right? For the overhang, this is where you will see the Tulum inspiration really coming in. I picked up this bamboo privacy fence that is fairly inexpensive from my local hardware store and started to roll it out directly on top of the supports from the previous places where the plywood used to be. Wow, holy, there was a lot of peas right there. The reason I didn't paint the top of the beams is because actually when you step away from the structure, you would have seen like the white seam lines and I don't want that. I wanted you to just kind of just see the bamboo coloring without the white contrast on top. I wanted that to remain on the bottom. Anyways, I move forward with securing this staple by staple from the wire where it's connecting all the material that you see that line going across on the privacy fence directly into those quote unquote studs, if you will, and just making sure that they are secured every single notch down that I had an opportunity to add a staple. I don't know where it stopped recording. My camera just shot off, but I am snipping with like pruning shears up this seam and then repeating the same process to that side. It's the exact vibe. Those mountains never get old. Can you tell the difference? See how that's straight now? And that one goes whoop, whoop, whoop. So we're adding trim pieces to make it look straight from the top. So it looks just as pretty as it does from the top as from underneath. Another tip I have for you to shake up your makeover more than the rest is do your research and get something a little bit more on the unique side that people kind of view as basic, but when they get up close and personal, they're like, wait, what? And that's these string lights. These just look like typical glass, but when you're in person and you're up close and personal, there's like beautiful blown bubbles into the glass and they're just like solid and gorgeous. Okay, just wanted to show you by setting these on the back beam, boop, it makes it look a little bit more intentional in my opinion. If they were all the way to the front, it would look a little bit cheap. So I opted to do it on the outside, the inside beam, and then I'll do it through the back. Even though this has been the most like physically exhausting two weeks of my life, uh, I am just sitting back in awe every night when the sunset hits and even the sunrise. I'm so taken back that this was just used to be a different colorway. That's really all it is. And I added paint and a little bit of elbow grease here and there with some cute lighting. And now we have a little slice of Tulum Joshua Tree-esque starting back here potentially. We'll see where it's gonna head. 
Thank you so much to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's episode. And you guys, there are so many more episodes coming out of this thing. We got a shade room, we got a sun deck, interior bar, a steam room slash sauna, and an outdoor shower. Then the behind the bar is an entire game section. I haven't even shown you guys that we're going to be redoing. I genuinely can't wait to get this party pad in order. But the first things first was this exterior makeover. 